Hey guys, Jeff here, Dice Setters. So I want to make a, a quick video about, uh, for those of you that have never played craps at a casino, or you're interested, or maybe you played craps once and you didn't like it, or you didn't quite understand, I couldn't do a full video of craps 101, how to play craps. This is just a quick get you in, get you playing, get you winning. Um, I've looked at other ones, they go for hours. And, uh, you know, back in the 90s, when I learned how to play slot machines, we didn't have a thing called YouTube. We just had to figure it out on our own. I want to do more than that, more than just get you beyond uh, getting at the table and, and trying. I want to show you quick and easy how to win. You might not understand everything, but sometimes just doing the quick stuff and winning would be enough to sit there and say, well, I want to learn more. So that's what this video is. It's how to play craps and dice set at the same time. Um, quick, simple, easy, and uh, I hope you guys learned something. For those of you that are the first time uh, trying craps at the table, watch this one or two times, and you'll act like a pro. Go up to the table and do exactly what I show you. You'll be a winner. All right, guys. So you're going to go to the table, and uh, you're going to put your money down. When the puck is off and no one's rolling, this, just imagine this being our chip tray. But what you're going to do is you're going to hand them, just like that, put in the center of the table, you hand them your money, and definitely give them your player's card. And they're going to sit there and count it out. They're going to make sure it's not counterfeit. So I have uh, 400 there. One, two, three, 400. They'll take this money and put it in a far, far place in the middle of the table, never to be seen again. They'll take your player's card, put down that you put uh, $400 on it, and they'll give you this. This will go into your trip tray, but I don't have them, and it's hard to video if I did have them, so I'm going to leave it right here. That's not where you're going to put your money. That's just where we put our money right now for filming purposes. The uh, dice that I'm going to use is the uh, the cross sixes two fingers straight down middle finger just for holding it and you're just going to pop it and you want it to land about right here which is six to eight inches away from the wall it's a 25 dollar table and we have a random roller that's going to be shooting, and our turn is next. So we have to bet with the random roller. We're not going to put any money down right now. We're just going to bet with the random roller. And it's going to be seven. We don't lose any money. We don't gain any money. It's going to be yo, yo eleven. Eight. Buck moves to eight. It says on. So now we are going to bet uh, thirty dollars on this line right here. Most time I do thirty if it's a six or eight. The rest is going to be twenty-five, and it's not here, which means that we made it through the roll. It's going to be placed on this line showing that we put the money on after the point was made. I want to give you as little information as possible, but enough for you to sit there and go to the table and play. Okay, at nine, it doesn't do us any harm or foul or we don't win any money. We're looking for the eight, that's another nine. And there goes a the set. The dealer will take our money. Now it's our turn to roll. 
We're going to put 25 on the pass line. Tell the uh, the stick man, which will be right in front of here, twelve dollars on uh, one dollar on twelve, one dollar on two, two dollars on three. So no matter what we roll, it will not hurt us. Be a ten, a hard ten. We lose our four dollars here. We will turn the puck on ten, and we are going to set sixty dollars in the cum and tell them six and eight. We're looking for the 10, the 6, or the 8. That's what's going to win us money right now. And no. That's what's going to lose. <laughs> money right now. You don't want the seven to come out. Puck gets turned back off. Turn goes back around the table, back to you. You should play with other players. That way that when the puck comes back to you, your turn to shoot, it will allow you to shoot. Quarter on the pass line. And the stick man, $4. Midnight, two, two on three. Hard eight. Now we lose our four dollars. It's turned on to eight. So before we did six and eight, well, eight is already covered by here. Pick either the five or the nine. I'm going to put a quarter on the nine. Six and eight are always going to be 30. The rest is going to be a quarter. This is a $25 table. So if you're at a different denomination table, you'll either have to go up or down. There's uh, $5 tables, $10 tables, $15 tables. I've never seen a $20 table. $25 tables, $50 tables, and $100 tables. Got a six. We have money on six. This is going to pay us 35. You're going to collect the $10 there and put a quarter on five. Six again. doesn't really matter where you shoot. I like to shoot as close to the center of the table as possible. We're going to pocket the 10. Now we're going to put it on the 4 of the 10. Since we've already rolled a 10, our chances, I think, of rolling a 10 are greater than rolling a 4. Six again. Easy six. That's going to win us 35. We're going to pocket 
a 10, put a quarter on four. Now we just keep on rolling. And hopefully we can roll some long rolls is what we're looking for. Three. We have no money on three. We did at the beginning of our come out roll. The dealer's going to pay us for that five, and we're going to pocket it. Nine. Dealer will pay us for our nine. And again, we're going to pocket that. Five. Eight. And that is our point. So the point will be turned over. We're back down to off. We'll get paid flat for a flat. This is a flat debt, so we'll get paid 25 for our flat. It's time to uh, make another point. Insurance. Dollar on midnight, dollar on two, three dollars on three. Excuse me, two dollars on three. point is going to be nine. Neither will turn this on and he'll sit there and suggest to you to move this to the eight and you say yep yeah, I'll move that to the eight. You got to add five dollars to it to make the odds correct. Six. Easy six. Oh, I lost my insurance. Get down my insurance. Dealer's going to pay you for your eight. Yo! Nothing happens with that one. Eight. 
You're just going to pay it for eight and just keep on going to town. It's a simple little strategy. Ten. So something special happens to ten and four. When you roll a ten or a four, depending on which casino you go to, Vegas would be two dollars. You're going to pay the dealer two dollars. It's called a vig, V I G, and in turn, he's going to give you double of what you have on the four and ten. It's going to be a six. There's going to pay you for your six. You say, Jeff, this is too easy. Not really. Anyone can do that. Six. Midnight. Up on the landing on that one. It'll be easy eight. Nine. We rolled our point. The dealer's going to turn that off. We're going to get paid 25 for our flat bet. Back to uh, come out roll. Dollar on midnight, dollar on one, two on three. It's going to be a yoke. So this is the first time we ever did this. This protects us from the two, the midnight, and the three. We will double our money or pay exactly that flat bet if we roll a seven or a yo, which is an 11. So the dealer will give us $25 for that, but we will lose our $4 here. We tell the stick man, which is right there, Four dollars, action, and by now he will know exactly what we're talking about. So we have six. Buck will go on six. The dealer standing right there will say, hey, you want to move this to your nine? We'll say, yep, that seems like a good idea. We're going to lose our four dollars insurance. And there we go again, we hit a seven. What comes off? And we lose all of our goodies. At least we 
we started off with uh, 400. That's 100, 200, 300, 400. So the rest is going to be profit. So 200, $250 profit. It's simple, it's easy, it gets you in the game. Yes, you're going to seven out. Yes, it's not going to be this as easy as I showed you, but over time it will. Keep it simple. Eventually you're going to find out what this is going to be and what everything else is going to be. But this is a get you in the game. Here's what you got to do. And, and another thing, I'm going to sit there and tell people that have never played before, this is my winnings, even if I didn't win. I always sit there and give something to the dealers. 15 bucks, you know, three bucks is kind of like a slap in the face, but give them something. Especially if they always remind you, hey, you know, don't forget, don't you want to have, you know, your, your $4 action here? They're there to help you. They're not there to make you mad. They're there to help you. Because you can't sit there and make these bets without telling them what you want, telling them what you want. The only thing you can lay down on your own Pass sign, don't pass, feel, and come. Everything else has to be helped. That's why it's important. Sit there and treat your dealers correctly because they will remember you. And if anything should ever happen, like they didn't pay you or whatever, they're going to tell the pit boss, no, no, we didn't pay him, pay him. It's going to help you in the end. Um, a lot of information. I don't ever want to do a video of start to finish of this is how you play craps. It'd be forever. It would absolutely be forever. This is get you in the door, shows you how to sit there and take your money, play your card. It's, you cannot sit there and physically hand it to them. It's got to be on the table. Then they're going to give you your money and what to do with that money. And one hand rolling. The little things like that. But that will get you in the door. That will get you started. That will get you into more trouble than you know what to do with. But uh, tell me what you think. Tell me if this has been a help for you. Tell me if you'd like to have more of these. Um, I'm interested. Thanks again, guys. Like, share, subscribe.